Hello, I'm Gemma Schultz, and this is your BG24 News online video update. A Wood County mother was indicted this morning after causing an accident that killed her infant twins. A Wood County jury indicted Lori Massengill on two counts of aggravated vehicular homicide and one count of endangering children. The mother sped through the railroad crossing on Faustoria Road and flew off the road. The female twin was pronounced dead shortly after the crash, and the male twin was pronounced dead two days later. The mother was injured as well in the crash. In lighter news, tomorrow is Bowling Green's annual holiday parade. The parade starts at 10 a.m., and the theme of the parade is Santa's Toy Box. There will be groups collecting toys and food for those in need this holiday season. Connie at Pack 422 will be collecting toys for both boys and girls. The Cub Scout elves will be walking along the sidewalks collecting donations. Their float is near the end of the parade. The other group helping the needy is the Atkin Club. They're sponsored by the BG Kiwanis Club for adults with disabilities. Communities are sitting in major destruction after Sunday's severe weather, and local law enforcement is warning victims of the storm about scammers that might try to take advantage of the damage. Lake Township police say they received between 30 and 50 reports of scams after a tornado struck the township in 2010. He encourages area residents to report anyone they might think be suspicious. Police say to keep in mind that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. In campus news, a student group that helps the school cut back on energy costs has its final event tonight. And organizers say they'll unveil how much money they save for the university. But so far, the group has raised more than $50,000. They've done so by turning off campus lights every Friday night. Students will meet tonight at 6.30 on the second floor of the Student Union. In Ohio news, the sheriff in Athens says a dangerous drug is appearing at Ohio University. He's so concerned about the drug that he won't trust charges if people turn it in. The heroin-like drug is known as crocodile. It can cause brain damage and turn skin green. Experts say this is the first appearance of crocodile in Ohio. Today marks the 50th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's assassination. Many remember where they were that day, and today many plan to honor the president. Flags at the Capitol and the White House flew at half-staff, and in Dallas, Texas, on Daly Plaza, a moment of silence was planned at the moment Kennedy was shot. And during a ceremony in Dallas, a new JFK monument will be unveiled. At the JFK Memorial, supporters of different JFK conspiracy theories will gather. Now for your Black Swamp weather forecast. Temperatures will be dropping as we start to see winds coming from the northwest. Today's temperatures are at a high of 45 degrees and a low of 27. So we'll be dropping back down to below freezing at night. There's also a 50% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow's forecast is mostly sunny but significantly colder. Temperatures will be at a high of 36 degrees and a low of 16. So if you're headed out to the Bowling Green Holiday Parade, be sure to dress accordingly. Sunday's even colder with just a high of 26 degrees and a low of 18. Skies will be mostly sunny, although it won't feel that way. And if you're wanting to escape the freezing cold weather, the BGSU Ice Arena may be even warmer than it is outside. The Falcons hockey team is the only one to have games at home this weekend. They play Minnesota State at the Ice Arena at 7.07 p.m. both Friday and Saturday. Be sure to head out and support. The away games today are volleyball against Northern Illinois at 2 p.m. and women's basketball against Marist at 5.30 p.m. Tomorrow's women and men's cross country will compete in the NCAA championships. Football plays Eastern Michigan at 1 p.m. Women's basketball is up against Old Dominion at 6 p.m. And finally, men's basketball takes on St. Louis at 8 p.m. If you're interested in finding out the results from this weekend's games, be sure to tune in to BG24 Sports Monday at 5.30 p.m. Thanks for tuning in to BG24 News, your campus and community connection. I'm Gemma Schultz.